After the complete mockery of Star Wars that was Heir to the Jedi, I was not looking forward to Jason Fry's Star Wars The Weapon of a Jedi, a Luke Skywalker adventure, Journey to the Force Awakens. What a mouthful of a title, and I don't even think I said it right. Um, but this turned out to not be terrible. In it, C-3PO is telling a resistant pi resistance pilot about a Luke story that he normally doesn't tell everyone. Uh, and this is one of the first times Luke wields his lightsaber. Luke goes to a planet where he finds an old Jedi temple and he learns some saber skills. He fights a guy who's a bounty hunter. And he takes on the Empire and that's pretty much it. It's a really short book. It's really short. Uh, Jason Fry does a good job. Jason Fry is known for his essential guide to warfare as well as writing, by the time this comes out, the last Jedi novelization. Um, so Jason Fry is not a bad writer. The story just really doesn't have anything going for it. It's entertaining for like a kid, but this is very kid friendly of a book. I didn't really get anything out of this. Granted, it's better than Cobalt Squadron, but that's not saying much. That's just saying that, hey, this is not a pile of bat guano, you know? So, overall, it gets like a three and a half out of five. It's fun, but it's not very memorable. Next time, we're going to move to something that's very memorable. As I go back to the Old Republic and review Darth Bane, Rule of Two. See you next time.